All right, all right, all right. Man, we are live. I'm live with Mr. Sean Nelson. How are you, brother? Good, Mike. How are you, man? I'm doing well, dude. I'm doing really well. Um, I'm really excited uh, to, to, to have you on, man. I've, I've been following your stuff for a little while now, and, and um, certainly it, it has piqued my interest, uh, as I'm sure it has other folks. And, um, and, and specifically, I'm talking about the disc series that uh, you're in the process of doing or maybe just wrapped up yesterday. And, um, you know, it, that, that kind of content is intriguing to me specifically because, you know, um, like, I guess different people think about different things, right? So when you're right. doing a disc series, like for me as a team leader, I'm thinking of, okay, um, what, what type of personalities am I dealing with, not only from a client perspective, but also from a, from a uh, team member perspective, right? Right. And so that's why, you know, I started watching that and found it so fascinating. Um, and, and I think different people will watch content like that and take different things from it. But aside from all that, right, so you came up with this idea, right, um, right. that you would do a series based on the disc profile. And for those of you who don't know what that is, it's a personality test, essentially, uh, D is uh, driver, right? I is high. I is well. That 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 means you're more gregarious, outgoing, right? right. You're, 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 and your CNSs are are more reserved and um, analytical, right? Right. So, and that's just a very high level view. I mean, you obviously went a lot more in depth, and I'm not going to steal your thunder there. So, if you want to know more about the disc, go back and watch Sean's series on the disc, and you can just do that by going to his Facebook page. Uh, and all that content is there, but I know I've said a mouthful, man. So I just I want to turn it over to you for just a little bit. Tell us a little bit about your background, man. I spent um, most of my professional life in retail sales. So I started. I started. Um, I mean, I started like a lot of people do, just physical labor, moving stuff, doing stuff way back when. And then when I was twenty, I got my first sales job, um, selling furniture. And, you know, it was funny because I'm, I'm a DC. So it was like people talk, talking to people. That's what you can do for a living. And people were like, what? You, you're going to communicate with other people? I'm like, yeah, I guess that's what I have to do. And then just kind of had a knack for it. And then I moved up to management um, and then spent the last about eight and a half years being a regional manager. So all I did was hire, train, and develop people. That was, that was my number one job. So I um, got out of that and got into real estate back in August. Sat down and talked to somebody that I – have known my whole life who's been doing real estate for a while and told her this is something I've always wanted to do. My grandpa had a construction company growing up. So I would spend my summers, you know, remodeling houses, breaking down walls, building boat docks, just was something I always liked. So I was like, all right, well, let's make the jump and, and uh, see how it goes. So it's been, it's been interesting just to transition to something that on paper looks completely different, but it's the same. It's people, yeah. it's people and it's helping people, you know, it's helping if, if people have problems, it's helping them find a solution for them. And th in this case, it's just, you know, helping people, buy and sell homes. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you know, obviously you, you've been, how long have you been, been licensed now? Just since December. So brand new. Just since December, man, that's, that's awesome. And, and what's, what's really cool is you're kind of making a name for yourself or, or a niche for yourself uh, on social media with some of the content you're creating. And I think other realtors, um, and I talked to, to Nick about this, Nick Kompraski on, on uh, Tuesday, uh, cause we talked about leveraging video in your business Right. And we can touch on that a little bit, too, because a lot of what you're doing is video, right. but there's a lot that goes behind that also. And so what I want to talk about specifically is um, how to create engaging content, right? Like you created, you, you came up with this idea that you would do a series on the disc. Right. And so I'm curious, like, where, where does that come from? How did you come up with that? I think the most important thing for me, Mike, is like is, is finding something that like you're passionate about. Because I was talking to someone, I've got an accountability group and we all do it together. And we're talking to someone was like, what should I do for a, for a live video? And I was like, what's important to you? Uh, and he answered right away. And I'm like, do a video on that because you can't like you can you can talk about all this if you want. But if, if, if it's here, then it's going to then people are going to be able to see that. So I think I, was, I started the series just on why I, I called it. Why do people hate salespeople? Because I, I was in sales forever. So it was like and the last part of it was like because people don't you know, you don't really get to know the person that you're working with. It's like, you know, I'm going to sell the way that I'm comfortable with. And it's like if you're the salesperson. Do what's comfortable for the customer. They're the one that's out of their comfort zone. So I start, so I talked about that a little bit, and people seem to like it a lot. And, and and I learned. I remember when I first went to my first disc conference and learned about that kind of stuff and got trained on that. I walked into there and learned more about my personal life than I did my professional life. I'm like, how how can I be a better, you know, how can I be a better friend? How I can I be a better brother? How can I be a better 
better father, like just by knowing, understanding people and why they're different and, and what they can teach me that I, I don't already know. Yeah. Hope that answers your question. Yeah, it does, man. But there's just, there's a lot to unpack just in what you said, because I think that, you know, there are people in this industry, right? And um, we alluded to this on Tuesday as well, that are like, man, you just got into December, right? And you're yeah. already like, you're already creating video. I mean, like, you're three or four steps ahead of the game, right? When it comes to like social media, right? And so, you know, there are people that have been in this industry for several years, maybe even decades, and they're, they haven't even created their first video. And, and you're right. a new guy, you got in and just started creating video right away. So talk, talk a little bit about like, um, and, and what I so love about what you're doing is you, some, I, I remember we had a comment um, on Tuesday and, and she, she, the, the girl said, I just don't know what to create. I just don't want know what kind of, uh, of content to create. And what you did was speci specifically my answer to her question is like, you're already good at something, right? You've right. already, you've are, you already have some material in, in, in your life that you probably know a little bit more than everyone else about. Right. Right. And so when you're talking about creating content, you just took the, 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 the information that you had acquired and you're, you're essentially regurgitating that back on video because you have a little bit more knowledge than, um, you know, maybe the normal person who, who would, uh, who, who would know anything about the disc assessment or doesn't know anything about the disc assessment and you're actually introducing them to the disc right. assessment. So talk about like, like you're just, you're a very matter of fact guy, right? I mean, you just like, I, so, so I need to do video. Okay. I'm just going to do video. Right. Exactly. And, and so talk about that. How, I mean, how, where did, and you're, a, so you're a DC, so you're, you're a driver, but you know, you, you're also, you're, you're, you're going to sit back and, and you're going to kind of like analyze things to make sure, you know, yeah. everything's right. So I, I'm sure, and I'm sure those two fight with each other a little bit in some cases, but talk about how you worked through all that. What, was there any apprehension at all to doing video or social media or anything Absolutely. like that? Absolutely. Absolutely. Terrified, which is, you know, it's funny because I, I did a lot of public speaking um just from my previous job and you know training classes and I, I i was told people like every time i was about to go up in front of a group i'd want to puke in my shoes you know it's just <laughs> it was one of those things like oh god you just never get used to it but you know this it actually sparked i was having a conversation with a girl who's not in real estate but she does a lot of stuff on social media and so she was asking about real estate how'd you get it started what would you suggest and so we started talking about just my background. She's like, have you done any videos or any sales stuff? And I'm like, no, I mean, I've done some training stuff. She's like, well, you should, because I feel like people could use that. So I was kind of like, well, where do I start? And I just kind of started with, Hey guys, I'm going to start doing video. I think my first video, was like, if you have been on, you know, have been friends with me on social media, you probably just looked at your phone and were like, did Sean just hit the wrong button? Like, what's he doing on Facebook live? Like, does he know what that is? <laughs> I think I put, did Sean just butt dial Facebook? <laughs> like, and, uh, and yeah, it was terrifying. And, you know, like, I think I told some, like the first video, it's like, you get off and it's like, congratulations, you had four views. I'm like, well, that was productive, you know? <laughs> and then recently it's like, you get off and you get a, you know, you've been on for a few minutes and you get off and you've got a hundred views. And so it's just, the more I've done it, the more consistent I've been, like I've tried to do it every single weekday, Yeah, try to do it at the same time. So people, you know, people know what to expect. And then people that have followed along, the interactions that really made me go because it was like I'll, I'll start the disc series and maybe it'll be you know one or two videos and then it started people so you know i'd get a lot of comments a lot of messages a lot of texts and so then i just kept you know what people were interacting with is what i kept going with and it's just kind of kept going and i've had some you know been able to do it you know just interact with people on video off video it's it's really just kind of taken on a life of its own because that's what people want to hear was trying to call me we're good yeah 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 we're good we're good okay. so uh, t talk a little bit about like i mean your you, did your social media strategy start off because i know like you you post some inspirational stuff too and you're still doing that um uh did, did you kind of start off like doing that kind of stuff and then it just kind of morphed into more video and and as you yeah as you as you as you got more um as it just became more normal to you, right, to, 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 to do video, you're probably starting to, to, to do more research and plan your stuff a little bit better. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I found that that I think the first couple, I don't think I had it planned out as well. And I, you know, cause it, I'm a high C, you know, C is a big thing for me. So it's like I don't have a plan. I, when I first started doing public speaking, it was like I would type out everything I was going to say. And I would usually and then I would kind of veer off of it and do something different. 
Um, but it was like, I need everything structured. But the more I've done it, the more it's been like, I can just kind of freelance. And then yesterday I just did a Q&A and I was like, I wasn't sure how I was going to go because it's the first time doing it. And uh, it was at, it was awesome. I had so much fun because like people have been waiting to ask questions and it was good to be able to interact with them like that. Yeah. So what what kind of um, what kind of advice would you give to, to maybe somebody that's um, maybe started to do video or just starting to do video or is 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 maybe on the brink of or um Maybe just a little fearful. Uh, what what kind of advice would you give to them? I mean, obviously you're you're kind of you're you're still fresh enough that you where right. you've not been doing it long enough that you could still give really good, I think, pertinent advice. Yeah, my my number one would be just do it. And I know it's it's it sounds cliche, but it's like like I I sat there and thought about it for like six days. I mean, it was like okay, should I do it? And finally, I was driving around and I was talking to my girlfriend, and I'm like, I think she's like, just get on there and do it. If it goes terrible, it goes terrible. But just hit the button and start doing it. I'm like, all right. So I did it, and then I was like, okay, that was not as scary as I thought it was. And then also like, not to like don't get discouraged right away. Like if you have five viewers, your first five videos like don't feel like that because i've watched it grow very very quickly a lot a lot quicker than i thought it was uh would and then i think my other advice would be you know at the at the end of the day we're all consumers like we're trying yeah we're trying to sell something everybody's trying to like that's the thing but it's like think about what you are attracted to like when i was going through like when i was doing videos and when i was when i when i post stuff it's like you know i use social media just like everybody else does so it's like what's gonna make me stop and what's gonna make me keep scrolling you know, what's going to catch my eye and be like, this is different than everything else I've seen, or this is just the same next. So I've tried to, you know, I've tried to, first of all, be real. That's a huge thing for me is just be yourself. If there's enough people, I think people can read through, you know, what's genuine. It's not. Um, and so it's like, give people the respect of just being yourself. And the number two is like, what is something that they're going to want to stop and listen to? And what's going to make them keep scrolling and differentiate between the two? Yeah. So is it is it important before you start to know who your audience is or will you naturally draw in an audience based on whatever your topic is? Um, I think it, it, I've been drawing in a very consistent, more, more consistent audience now that I've been doing it more consistently and also doing it at the same time. Because it was yeah. like I think at first it was like I did a do video at one o'clock and then it was four o'clock and then it was six o'clock and it'd be all over the place. Where the last probably week and a half, it's been, you know, pretty much on the, at the same time. So I'm getting a lot of the same viewers and I'll have like, you know, I'll have like a base of like, these are the same people that have been following along so far. And then I'll have, you know, 30, 40 other people that are popping on for the first time. And that's why like in the comments, I always leave links to my other videos. So it's like, if you're just now starting with this and you want to catch up here, click on these other ones. So that way, when we go on tomorrow, that you can be kind of up to speed with what we're talking about. Yeah, I, I, I think... Look, when you started the disc series, did you have an audience in mind for that? Um, yeah, I, I wanted to talk, to, you know, because I think disc is used so much for business. It yeah. is it, 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 what it is. And so I think about my sister, for example, she, you know, she, I have been talking to her about it for years and she's like, um, that's not for me. You know, like I'm, I'm, I'm a mom, I'm a wife, like that's not something I'm concerned about. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I, I wanted people to understand like, no, this, this, this can affect how you treat your siblings and your kids. And like, I've learned much, I've got one kid who's over here and one kid who's over here. And I've learned very early on, like if I try to parent them the same way, epic fail. So I wanted to reach people um, who uh, on a personal level where it's like, you can use this for every life and then take it into business. I mean, you can take anything into business, but start with who you are and who other people are. Um, because I think the thing I said is like miscommunication mostly starts with us not understanding what the other person is like, who the other person is, and why their intention comes across a certain way, and that's how conflict starts. Okay, so do you like you? Obviously, you, this was planned. Your series was planned out, right? And and then I think you did your last episode last night as a yeah. Q and A, right? And you yeah. you got a lot of good feedback. Um, so. I, I know there's a lot of people watching right now and they're thinking, um, okay, uh, so I, I need to plan out a series and, 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 and maybe they don't have to go that far, right? Maybe you don't have to plan out a series, but what I, what I'm, what I want you to talk about is like, now that your disc series is over, do you have something else already in mind that you're going to talk about next or where do you go from here? Because what I want people to understand is, is, um, is the mindset of building up to whatever they're going to do next and whatever you're going to do next. Yeah, I, I have a few different things and those have come from what, you know, the thing I kept, I put on in several videos is if there's something that you want to talk about, mm -hmm. 
send me a message. And I got a lot of different ideas um, from people that I thought were good. So it's really just kind of seeing what, like, what can the majority of the people on my Facebook feed, what can they, the most people relate to? Like, I don't want to pick a topic that one out of 2000 people are going to relate to. Like, that's important too, but it's like, if, if there's more people that are going to be able to share stuff back and forth, because yesterday's stuff was great. And you know, one, one thing is I'm not, I'm very low I and, and, and S. So I spent some time, I would say interviewing, but just talking to people that were high I, high S. And I thought, well, I've studied disc. I know everything that, you know, I'm going to see. So that's like, oh, I, I got all the details. And the first thing, I said, like, what's the biggest thing that people misunderstand about you? And every single person I asked, the first thing that they said was something I never thought of. And I'm like, okay, so I don't know as much as I thought. And so I, I, I learned more from people. So that's kind of where I'm going with the next one is, what do you want to hear? What's something that you're going to, that you're going to take the most from that we can all kind of share with each other? Does that make sense? It makes perfect sense. And so it sounds like um, what you're saying is that uh, you're getting ideas from actually just reaching out to people you're already friends with or already connected to on social media and they're giving Absolutely. you the feedback um, for whatever video you're doing. And I think it's brilliant, man. I really do. And there are other places I think that you can find topics, right? Um, and you might want to start with uh, obviously areas of expertise uh, and, and really, really dig into that because what I was thinking about, um, and, and I'll probably do this either one day next week or the week after that is, I've got a very elaborate real estate calendar, right? And 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 what I mean by that is like I, it's color coded where I can go in and I can look and I know what green means and I know what orange means and I know what yellow means and it's all like it's it's just it's a crazy calendar and and I'm on like a there's like a point system and right. and and like to me it makes sense but and I think if I showed it to other people they'd be like dude that is freaking sweet man and 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 but I, you never think a lot of people just never think of those things yes they never think other people would want to see how you do a calendar right but right. the reality of it is if it makes sense to you it probably makes sense to a lot of other people wouldn't you agree could not agree more and i, I remember when i first read the videos the first thing i started the first one i started with was dominant direct people and i'm like i finished the video i'm like lame like in my opinion i'm like everybody knows that already like because it's it's who i am so i'm like i assume if, if i understand it everybody knows it and i got so much feedback like i like somebody uh, messaged me and was like oh my god she was a high is and her husband's a d and she was like i never knew why he was like that it makes more sense now i'm like oh my god there's people out here that might want to know this information that i've just been kind of hanging out you know keeping in my head yeah so talk to me specifically about how you are using engaging um content in your real estate business I think it's, um, you know, front of mind type thing where it's like, you see real estate, you see, like, I want to, I want to be a, a presence where people were like, okay, that's, this is like, I think real estate. And then who's that guy that was on, on, on Facebook, you know, that, like, who was that guy that was talking? So just, you know, I, you think about your realtor, it's like, I can tell you who sold me my last two houses. I don't remember them, but it's like, I could tell you the person I saw yesterday on, on TV or yesterday on Facebook or yesterday on whatever it is. Cause it's like, you're just keeping yourself at the front of people's minds. So it's, yeah. I'm going to be in that spot where it's like, you know, maybe you don't need a house right now. Maybe you don't need to sell a house or buy a house right now, but it's like, if it's six months from now or 12 months from now, it's like, who is that guy? Like that's the, that seems like a kind of guy that I want to just, you know, have a cup of coffee with or go grab a beer with, or have somebody that, you know, that can help me out. Um, I think, you know, that's what I want to appeal to is real people. I want, I think people want to work with somebody who's genuine, who's just, I'm here to help you however I can. Yeah. So creating top of mind awareness. And what's really cool about what you just said is that, um, you know, it, this is a, it's a different marketing channel, right? And so what I want people to think of here is that um, there, obviously you can do mailers, you can make phone calls, you can, you know, send text messages, email, drip campaigns. There's so many different channels for, for marketing. Um, and social media obviously is one and, and it's very impactful um, because people get to know, especially through video, right? People get yeah. to know you as a person. And what's really cool is you can attract the kind of clientele you would actually want to work with because uh, yeah. they, get, they get to know you, right? And your personality. Would you agree with that? That's, I, I couldn't have said it better. Yeah, I think that's exactly right. Like that's the kind of person that's going to be attracted to you as a person that you're going to want to work with anyway. So... You know, I think and the, and the best, sorry, but the best, the, I think the best video I did was like not just starting off early on was like, I was just over here on my table, just doing some stuff. Um, and my son was on the couch and all of a sudden he was like, comes in and he starts chiming in, you know, and I'm like, oh God, now I'm like, but that personalized it where people were like, oh, this is just a guy in his kitchen with 
who's got kids running around the house. Like that's just a real dude, you know, who's living a real life like the rest of us. Yeah. And I think people want to, don't want to see perfection really. I mean, it just, it, no. it, we, we see enough of that, you know, when we watch the news and stuff, I mean, that, that's uh people like to know that you're just a normal guy. And I think it helps them relate to you better um, because you are normal and you do have those imperfections in your life, just like they do. Right. And right. so and that's, and that's, I, go ahead, finish your thoughts. That's why I would say, that's why I would say just do it. Cause I thought about when I first started thinking about it, I'm like, all right, I'll pre-record it. And then I'll post it. I'm like, if, as, as meticulous as I am, if I pre-recorded it, I would go and look me like, ah, at do that. 32 seconds, I blinked too many times. You know, like I'm going to delete that sort of again. Like you'll never, you'll never post it if you're looking for the perfect video ever. Yeah, I couldn't agree more, man. And I, I know people are thinking about, you know, that people are constantly thinking about, well, what, what, what content can I create? And, and they have all these limiting beliefs and fears. And um, that's why I love your strategy of just like getting out, just turn, like hit, like take it three deep breaths and hit the freaking live button and just, <laughs> and just do it. Man. That's what um, it is. And, and I think, you know, after that first time, it just it gets a little bit easier every single time you do it. And Absolutely. then, you know, that's when it that's when you really start to shine as as a as an individual. Yeah, I agree. Absolutely. So, you know, talk a little bit about um, talk a little bit about like. Because I know like people people I think people are very reluctant um, to change. And, uh, you know, this is another thing Nick and I talked about the other day is that, you know, for a guy like yourself, um, who just started into the, into the industry in December, um, and you're already starting to do video and stuff. What do you think, what, what do you think of the, is the impact on agents who are not willing to do video, um, or social media? Uh, I think it's, I, I think it's, first of all, I think it's negative because I think that everything's always changing. And in my, in my previous industry where I taught, you know, I trained sales, it was like, I remember what we had done for sales training up until this point worked. And then all of a sudden things changed, you know, the, the, the consumer base changed, the world's changed, everything's gone through social media. And so it's like, if we still try to do the same exact thing that we did in 2015, as we're doing in 2019, it's not going to work. So you have to be relevant to the day and age that we're, that we're in. And I'm like, I'm, I wasn't, a, it was funny. That's why I did the thing. Like it, did Sean just butt dial Facebook? Like, cause I wasn't a social media guy. Like I was on it. I'd post pictures of my kids and I occasionally, but it was like, you didn't see me on Facebook. And so it's like, for me to, for me to go from that to what I'm doing now, if, if, if I can do it, I'm pretty sure anybody can do it unless you don't have a phone. My boy, my boy, James J Barnes has a question, man. And he's wondering if you're doing this on your personal page or your business page. And if that makes any difference. Uh, I started doing it on my business page, James, and um, did it for the first few times, and then I switched to my personal page, and I and I'm telling I, I feel like the personal page was much better. Okay. Um, I, I feel like it just you just got more of a a, a human interaction, um, more people consistently following people that you maybe you've known for 20 years, or you've known for 20 minutes, but you got all kinds of people from different walks of life, ages, you know, backgrounds who would all interact together. So I feel like that was the best for me. So good point, man. And uh, Conda Davidson asking, what's the average length of time for, for a video? You know, when I first started, uh, I thought the average length of time needed to be like six minutes or less. I'm like, okay, let's make it short. So that way people can get, get on and get off. Uh, and then I started the disc thing and I started, you know, just getting on some rants because of something I really excited about. And they started going like 25, 30. And then yesterday's Q and a, which I thought would be anywhere from 30 seconds, to 30 minutes was 45 minutes. Um, so it's really just, However long you have to talk about, it. I think that probably that 15 to 25 minute seems like to be, be the hot spot because people can pull it up and be like, I have time to watch this. Um, but if, if, if you got an interactive audience, like I wouldn't hop off without unanswered, unanswered questions. If people answer or asking questions on your on your comments, don't hop off till you've answered them if you can. I think because I think that means a lot to people. They're taking time out of their day to let, to, to watch you. So take time out of your video to to appreciate that and to you know answer their questions. Yeah, and to piggyback on that, I think uh, Conda, it, it it really depends um, on what kind of content you're putting out. I mean, if you if you just have something quick that's on your mind you want to say that you think might be impactful, right? It's a quote or right. it's, it's it's just something that you know might help someone through their day. You know that that video might be thirty to forty five seconds. Uh, right. An interview like what we're doing right now, you know, sometimes can go anywhere between 20 and 45 minutes, just depending on the type of content you're delivering. Right. So right. I hope that answers her question. Um, and, and and I think, you know, for 
even beyond that is is going back to what Sean said is just do it, man. Just just you know hit hit the, hit the button and do it because I think I think what what you'll notice is that you know that first time you get those first time jitters out of the way and then it's just cake, man. It's gravy. It is. Yeah, be just prepared to be nervous. Even if you're somebody who likes to talk in front of people, you'll still be like, oh, God, what if I, you know, what if I say something stupid? Or what if my kids can barge in? Everybody's human. We're all, we're all of our kids, if you got kids, they always barge in anyway. Yeah, man. So talk to, like, I mean, is there anything that, is there anything that, that, is there anything that I didn't ask you that I should have? I, I like to ask that question because oftentimes, like I'm a high DI and so I'm go, 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 go. And I, and, oft, and oftentimes I'll just completely forget, you know, something I was going to ask or, or completely negate an entire, um, an entire section of my questions. So anything I should have asked that I didn't? I don't think so, man. I think the, if, if I was to just to put a bow on it, it would be just be real. Cause I, I think like so we're all consumers. And so I think about what do I, what am I attracted to? What do I watch? And it's like, if I feel like I'm watching somebody who's reading off a teleprompter, maybe that works for some people. For me, it doesn't. It's like, I want to know, like, is someone having a real conversation with me? Is it like we're doing right now? Like we didn't, we didn't sit down and rehearse this for three hours beforehand. I didn't know what you're going to ask before you asked it. And I think that's what people like to see is like, these are just two guys having a conversation. And I feel like that's what your live video should be. Is like, this is just a guy who's just talking to a person, whether it's one person or a thousand people, just, just be yourself. Yeah, man. I couldn't agree more. So, um, I so appreciate you taking a couple minutes um, out of your day. I will continue to follow um, because you're putting out great content. How can people find you on social media? Uh, I got a YouTube channel, Sean Nelson Realty. That's where I'm kind of putting all my videos together. So I've got two series done right now. So um, you can follow me on that. And also, if you look on, on my Facebook, my Sean Nelson, I got a Realty page as well. But if you look on my video from yesterday, I put all the links to my other disc videos in there. And then if you click on those, it'll take you to my YouTube channel and you can subscribe there for anything else I post. Cool, man. And so I, I know the, the first series or the, the, the first series I watched was the disc series and, and it sounds like there's two now. So I got to go back and watch the other one. What is the other one? It was why do people hate salespeople? <laughs> so why do we, and how long is that series? That one was, I think it was a seven part. It was much, much shorter. It was like seven to 11 minutes long per video. Um, and it was, you know, when I taught to people how to sell, it was like, don't be the same person that, that they just, you know, like, so they come out of someone else's store and it's like, Oh God, I don't want to be around that person. It's like, what makes like, why do people hate salespeople and how to be different than that? So yeah. that way we can provide a better experience for people that are shopping with us or buying houses from us. Hey brother, we got one other question from Rebecca Hayes. She asked, is YouTube better or Facebook live better? Uh, if it, Rebecca, if you're catching up, I would say probably YouTube because it's all in one spot. You have to scroll through my newsfeed. Um, but Facebook Live is better if you happen to be on because that way, if you have a question, we can. It's it's more interactive. So it's like I might say something, you may be like, oh, I, what about this? And I I found that I've that, that those have been the best ones when people have questions during the video. Um, those seem to kind of facilitate more or you know interactive type conversations. Yeah. And if your Rebecca, if your question was, um, w which one is it better to do video on? The, the answer is both. Uh, you can record your videos on Facebook Live and then download into an MP4 and then upload it into YouTube. That's so um, I'm not sure how she was asking that question, but we answered it both ways. So hope, hope that helps. Yeah. And if you're just starting off on YouTube, like I, I just started the YouTube thing recently. And so it's like, you're going to start off with way more people following on Facebook than probably YouTube initially. So maybe get it up and going with Facebook. And then if you get it, if you, if your followers start piling up on YouTube, then you can transition over there. would be my opinion. Awesome, brother. Awesome. man. Dropping, dropping some, some serious gold, man. I so appreciate it. Listen, I will continue. Thanks for having me. You. Yeah, no, absolutely. Hopefully we, we can do this again in the future, man, after you do another series. Thanks, Mike. I appreciate it, man. All right, brother. Good luck. All right. We'll see you. See ya. Nice, man. Thanks, man. That was